Hey everybody, Summer Streets is back. As you may know, Summer Streets is an institution here in New York City starting in 2008. We're gonna cue some grainy 4-3 footage when the DOT under Jeanette Sadiq Khan started the program and we've had it every year except last year when it was canceled due to COVID. And now it's back and why not? It's outdoors and people are just having a ball and it's such a great way to experience New York City. My favorite part is I get to bike really slowly. It's like not a thing you get to do in New York City that frequently. I'm going like eight miles an hour. If I was going eight miles an hour on a, on a bike lane or a street with cars, I would be honked at constantly. He really missed it last year. He, he finally really learned how to ride long distance this year. So it's been really nice to be able to come out. It's absolutely fantastic, stunning. I'm enjoying human engagement second by second. So ready? Red light, green light, go! Go team, go, 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 go! Well, surprise, surprise, last time we had Summer Streets, Vanderbilt Avenue was under construction. Vanderbilt Avenue has been a motorway for as long as I've been in New York City. And now look at it behind me, look, look down. Look down, can you see that? That is now Vanderbilt Avenue, it's a pedestrian space. Literally, this was just a place where limousines would idle waiting for somebody to be their fare. And now it's just a great place. People can relax, have their lunch. It's so good to be back here. So good to hear the sounds of the city, which do not include cars. But as good as it is, we need a lot more because it's, it's unbelievable that we only get it for a few hours, only twice this year. I would love to see this happen in every season in New York City, at least one street in every neighborhood. And here we are up with the viaduct that goes around Grand Central. And I was talking to Jeanette Sadakan recently. She told me she really wanted to pedestrianize this space. So what are we waiting for? We're going to announce the People's Choice Awards for Activist or Advocate of the Year for New York City. Yay! And I love this. It's a homemade bandana. I love it with bikes on it, all different bikes. Very cute. I'm here with my nephew from Columbia who's visiting and he was like, oh, this is just like 34th Avenue. He's like, is it every day? I said, no, it's only twice a year. He's like, what? And he's used to going every single Sunday with his whole family to bike all around Cali where he lives. And he was very surprised that we only do two days the entire year. What I love about Summer Streets is it just shows what a huge demand there is for uh, safe cycling and safe pedestrian infrastructure in the city. I mean, just so many people of all ages and all different backgrounds coming together because there's this one place, this one safe haven. Now here's another thing that's kind of cool that probably most people aren't recognizing. We now have Crosstown bike lanes. The last time Summer Streets happened in 2019, None of these cross-town bike lanes were here. So we're making progress a little bit at a time. It looks like it's been a very successful return to Summer Streets here in New York. Most people just want to say more, more, more. 